everyone, my name is Amlan and I am a financial analyst intern here at 3E Management. And today I have a multifamily acquisitions model with me, uh, which I'll be using to demonstrate the millage rate. So millage rate refers to the tax rate used to determine local property taxes. It is demonstrated as the amount owed for every $1,000 of the assessed property value. So as you can see here, we have the assessed value. And what this is, is the value of a property for tax purposes. Assessed value takes into consideration comparable sales, location data, inspections, and other factors. Uh, also known as effective property tax rate, the millage rate will vary depending on the agencies within the municipality. However, property taxes themselves are originally set by local governments and paid for by the property owners. These tax values are based off a percentage of the property's value, accounting for both the building and the land. So how do we calculate taxes using the millage rate? Uh, the property tax owned by, owed by a property owner is calculated by dividing the millage rate by 1,000. However, in this case, with the TSM model, we will, we will be using 100. As you can see here in this note, all millage rates should be divided by 100. So, um, and then you would multiply the product of that by the assessed value of the property. So for example, assume a property had an assessed value of 100,000 and the total millage rate was six. The tax pa taxes payable in this instant would equal to six divided by 1,000, which is 0 0.006 times 100,000, which would be 600 due uh, in taxes. And the TSM models, like I mentioned, you just sub substitute this $1,000 value with 100. So to use this uh, model as an example, so right now we are in the taxes section of the uh, multifamily acquisitions model. And you can see that the millage rates are separated into county, city, school, college, hospital, uh, and stuff like that. Um, and with the total uh, being at the end right here, which is basically just the sum of all these values. And then below that, we have the stabilized tax expense, which is the uh, property taxes um, for this property. So to calculate that, like I mentioned in my example, you would just be taking the uh, millage rate, dividing it by 100, and multiplying that by the assessed value. And we can see that being done right here. Uh, we just switched uh, over the 100 uh, to the end, but we can do it. Uh, this way as well. So you take that, divide by 100, and then you take that value, multiply by the assessed value. So you can see that equals 300,172, same as here. And finally, what I want to show you is how this applies to the cash flow model. So if we were to go to financials right here, you would see that under the property taxes section of the operating cash flows, that value is right here, 300,172. So in conclusion, the mileage rate or the millage rate or effective property tax rate is the rate used to determine the local property taxes. The tax expense is calculated by dividing the millage rate by 1,000 or 100 in the top shelf models uh, model and then multiplying that number with the assessed value of the property. This value will be displayed as a property tax expense in the operating expenses section of the cash flow model. Thank you.